Hello, hello, hello! Dick Guy here, and welcome back to the day. Last episode, we kind of found this museum, and we found where Maggie went off to. Not much else, then. Okay. Though, looking at what we saw in the museum, something gave me an idea. He had a crystal, a stone that could bring back the dead. What if this works on Brink? I don't really want to, but... Let's see. Who knows if this will even work? Even if these really are the same crystals I saw resurrecting an alien in that museum display, they weren't designed for humans. But it's worth a shot. Yep. Ooh! Green speckles. And he's alive. Break. Are you okay? I feel... I feel fine. What happened? You died. I remember digging. And the ground gave way under me. Brink, you've been dead for several hours. <laughs> you Americans, always exaggerating. I wasn't. I assure you, Brink. No pulse. No breath. Dead. But I found a couple of life crystals in a museum, and from a display there, I got an idea of how to use them. Where's the crystal? I have to see it. I wasn't sure it would work on a human being. Our cellular structures must be very similar. Boston, it didn't just bring me to life. It brought me... to life. Hmm? I feel more... Powerful, more energetic, more alive than I've ever felt before. Oh, no, that can't be good. Maggie, do you read me? Yes, I do. I hope this is important. It is. I think so. Brink isn't dead anymore, Maggie. You have a very sick sense of humor. No, no, no. Goodbye. No, no wait, I'm serious. Deadly serious. Brink! I can't believe it. It was a crystal I found in the museum. The display there showed it bringing someone back to life. So I tried it. A crystal that heals the dead. If we ever get back home, this will change the world. It'll change everything. It's not just being alive again, Maggie. I feel perfect. I feel like I never knew what good health was until today. Now it's all the more important we find a way home. It's always kind of important to me. Keep exploring, Boston. I'll get back to work on the language. Hmm, might be able you to help it, there. Oh well. Anyway, we got Brink back, so we might be able to get that door open. We also got another one of those engraved rods. Let's see if it opens any doors. Come on. Keep moving. Okay. Let's open this paddle. And let's have a look at a rod. Circle, triangle, cube, damn it. Ah, I also gotta remember colours. So we need blue, pyramid, and a blue cube. And the last one is a green diamond. And we have a new room open. Brink. No, I don't want Brink. Never mind. I want downstairs. Well, this one's different. There's the button. Hmm. Uh oh. 
The other trams came as soon as I called them. Maybe there are some controls somewhere. Guess this one's dead. Up we go. Come on. Back to the Nexus and let's go back downstairs then. To the other room. Can't go any further that way. I wonder how it works with two people in it. We couldn't get in. Now that we have help, we can actually get in there. Come on. Frank, would you give me a hand with this? Sure. On three. One, two, Three! Ooh, more of those crystals. That looks familiar. Hi, Sparkles! Oh, that's not a good thing. That was the longest visit from a ghost yet. The whole display centered on this basin. It's full of crystals. Are these the life crystals? Like the one you used to bring me back to life? They look like it. Then it couldn't be more clear. These life crystals are the reason they brought us to this world. I don't think so. They have found the secret of life and they want to share. Mm, no. Weren't you watching, Brink? I don't care what language you speak, that ghost shaped itself like a skull. It was warning us. These crystals are dangerous. That's more like it. It was the symbol of death, Lo. Yeah. These crystals are the antidote for death. That's mm. what it meant. What if there are side effects? Did you think of that? The side effect is that I feel better than I ever felt before. If you had used a life crystal on yourself, your mind would also be as clear as mine. And you'd see that there is nothing more important than getting these crystals and using them. No, 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 Brink, no. I think you're wrong. I think we need to be careful. These aliens are kind and good, Commander. No. They have given us a gift. Yeah? Well, if this is all so perfect, where are these aliens? Yeah. Maybe they've moved on to a higher plane of existence. Uh, mm, or maybe they're all dead. That's more like it. <laughs> See how badly your brain is working. How could they be dead? They invented these life crystals. Commander, I feel sorry for you. Still tied down by an ordinary mind and ordinary fears. But I feel too good to want to argue with you. Believe what you want. I'm taking as many of these crystals as I can carry. I don't think that's a good idea. That's a very bad idea. Well, I'm gonna take some for study back on Earth. I'm just not gonna use them. That's more like it. But you will, Commander. Sadly, we're gonna need them. That looks like the explosive they showed us. Now, yeah, let's see if we can get past Brink. And. That's showing my little friend down here. Ah, Jizzle's back. Ah, no, no, no. 
Wait, where did Brink go? Uh, don't eat me. Gross. Hey, Brink. Do you think... Brink? Brink? Where are you? Brink, answer me. I think he ditched us. Brink, can you hear me? Nope. Where are you? Maggie, Brink's run off. He wasn't acting very rational when we found a big supply of life crystals. I'm afraid maybe those things are addictive. Yeah. Or they altered his personality or something. Probably that. The ghost tried to warn us, but Brink was feeling too cocky to listen to good advice. Just when this place starts looking benign, it finds new ways to be dangerous. Anyway, I'm going on without him. I can't think of anything else to do. I'll try to contact him now and then, see if he's willing to talk. I doubt it. Thanks, Maggie. I'm beginning to take this personally. Nobody wants to stay with me. Maybe it's my deodorant. Possibly. I think it failed somewhere back there on Attila. And who are you talking to? Okay, this is basically why there was a fossil on the road before. Well, we gotta piece back the turtle together. Uh, to, you right click to rotate stuff. Oh, nope, that's the tail. This is the head. This goes here. This goes here. Ooh, no, gotta rotate that. Here. This goes here. Here, yeah, here, and the last piece. Now we exit here and we give the little guy a heart. <laughs> you just need a little something to make you complete, my friend. How about a little alien explosive device? And then I said we weren't going to use it, but we're going to. <laughs> um, num, num. Anyone want sushi? Boom. Now we we can go in the water. Since we're not going to be eaten now. Now that the water is safe for swimming, I think it's time to see what's in that underwater cave. How could you see that from over there? Ah, well. And, ooh, another rod. Another engraving. Andy, and we'll take this one. Another plate. And I think I'll leave it there for today. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever. This is Day Gun, signing off. Bye!